local tools for helping you to survive this year's rainfall shortage, Lunar New Year events in February, and MCTV rolls out a new website. All that and more coming up next on MCTV No Brain News. Before we talk about the news, I'd like to clear the air about three local events that generated some MCTV viewer complaints. First, the school board meeting at the new Carolyn Shea Center on December 9th. No doubt when that event was scheduled, the Millbury Elementary School District Board of Trustees was not anticipating the resignation of Taylor Principal Dr. Leslie Martin, which took place just a few days before. The meeting was supposed to simply be a celebration of Carolyn Shea's tremendous contribution to this district and the opening of the new Taylor Combination Cafeteria, Gym, and Meeting Room, as well as swearing in the re-elected members and the new board president, Dennis Fama. Construction on the Shea Center was not actually complete on that night. It was anticipated to take another month to wrap up various little details, including the television wiring, which had not yet been installed. The district knew that, and we knew that, but our playback calendar said live, which was our mistake. The celebration turned into a passionate plea from dozens of teachers and staff who were very upset at Dr. Martin's departure. There were multiple complaints from the teachers and parents at home who tuned in to hear their representatives and found out that MCTV was not live on the air. We did record the meeting and it did replay in its entirety December 14th and 16th. And we thank those of you who depend on us and we promise we'll do a better job of managing our online calendar. Which leads me to the next sad event. On January 7th, the City of Millbury held a public City Council meeting to select the Vice Mayor. MCTV was asked to not televise this meeting. We then tried to record it, and we were asked to not record the meeting. We were asked by the City of Millbury. So for all of you who are outraged out there, there's nothing that I can say. I'm sorry. The last and least complaints came from a brief outage we had during the January 13th school board meeting. It was a technical hiccup that was quickly solved, but unfortunately impacted public comment. And the school board allowed speakers to return to the podium and give their comments a second time to compensate. The Millbury Rotary invites you to attend their annual Lunar New Year Banquet at Zen Peninsula Seafood Restaurant on Friday, February 21st from 5.30 to 9 p.m. If you haven't registered yet, don't wait any further because the tables are almost full. It'll be a lot of fun to welcome the Year of the Horse. There's door prizes, there's the lucky cash cards, there's honey walnut prawns, egg rolls, pot stickers, crispy fried chicken, and stir-fried steak cubes. That was a lot of food, if I recall. Uh, there's award-winning dancing, there's always fun to have the, the lion dancers from the G. Young Lions, and this event, sponsored uh, by the Rotary Club, supports Millbury City Playground renovations. I can tell you from my first-hand experience that the event is a lot of fun, so get your ticket. Before February 17th, it's $50 per person or uh, $47.50 if you buy a table of 10. For RSVPs after February 17th, it's $55 a person. You can reserve online at the website shown below, clubrunner.ca forward slash Millbrae, or by sending your checks by mail, payable to the Millbrae Rotary Club-2014 LNYB, to PO Box 23, Millbrae, California, 94030. In school news, Calvary Lutheran Church invites you to a preschool open house Saturday, February 22nd from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. at 401 Santa Lucia Avenue in Millbrae. Preschool is open to children from two and a half years to five years old. They have both full and part-time schedules as well as a summer session. For more information, call 650-588-8030 or visit the website at calvarypreschoolmillbrae.com or write to calvarypreschoolmillbrae at gmail.com. Meadows Elementary School PTA invites you to a crab feed and auction on Saturday, March 29th at the new Carolyn Shea Center, which is 850 Taylor Boulevard. Enjoy delicious Dungeness crab, dancing, and lots of fun, all to benefit Meadows Elementary School. The doors open at 6 p.m. Tickets are $50 plus a small processing fee. To buy your tickets, visit Meadows Crab Feed, all one word, meadowscrabfeed.com. 
The Millbury School District is still accepting student registrations for the 2014-15 school year. The enrollment period ends on February 21st. Please log on to the district's website at millburyschooldistrict.org to access all the required documents for student registration. Elementary school parent conferences are being held right now. They end on the 11th. If you don't have a, an appointment already, please call the schools. And then there will be no school February 14th through 17th. The students resume on February 18th. Well, we've had a quarter of an inch of rain here and a quarter of an inch of rain there, and we're like far, far, far from normal. So it looks like rationing is in our future. Uh, California has declared a state of emergency and the Hetch Hetchy Regional Water System has asked us to conserve water by 10%. So here are some tips to help you do that. First of all, fix leaks in your household faucets and toilets. And you could get some free tablets from the city of Millbrae for putting into your tank to detect whether or not there are leaks. So come on down to City Hall for that. You can reduce your lawn irrigation, that helps a lot. Uh, there's actually a workshop coming up, a free workshop I'm gonna talk about on reducing your lawn irrigation. You can water in the early morning and, uh, sorry, in the evening and early morning. Take five minute showers or less. Turn off the faucet while you're brushing your teeth or shaving. And use a broom to clean your driveways, sidewalks, and patios instead of a hose. And then on those dishwasher loads and your clothes washer loads, make sure it's a full load when you run it. Pick up free water saving devices at the City Hall's Public Works counter, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5. Uh, you bring in your shower head and they'll give you a brand new low flow shower head. They have faucet aerators, shower timers, toilet leak tablets I already talked about, and garden and lawn guides. Also, rebates are available for high efficiency toilets, clothes washers, rain barrels, and cisterns. For more information and tips, visit ci.milbray.ca.us forward slash water conservation or call 259-2348. So, talking about that lawn irrigation, there is a workshop coming up on reusing rainwater and household gray water. And what is that, you say? I always wondered. Well, the city's having this workshop, and you can find out February 26th, 7 p.m. at the library. It is free. Um, harvesting rainwater and capturing your household gray water for use in landscape. This conserves water and energy and may help your, lower your water bills as well as your power bills. Capturing rainwater also reduces the water runoff of pollutants from entering the bay. Attend and enter a raffle for a free rain barrel, RSVP to 349-3000, or visit www.bawsca.org. The other workshop that will help you with the 10% conservation is an introduction to irrigation basics, design, installation, and maintenance. Once again, this is a free workshop. It will be held March 19th, 7 p.m. at the Millbury Library. Learn how to convert your present irrigation system to a water efficient irrigation system, including basic layout design, installation, watering techniques, and maintenance. Install a water efficient drip system with the right components. If you attend, you'll enter a raffle for a free irrigation drip system. So RSVP, once again, to 650-349-3000 or visit www.bawsca.org. <music> On MCTV this month, we have a wide selection of Mills High School sports, plus highlights of the Senior Health Fair, the Lunar New Year Luncheon, and much, much more. We are rolling out a new website with useful new features, the ability to buy DVDs online, to request programming, to submit community announcements, to post your garage sale, and lots more features coming up in the next few months. Let me be the first, or possibly the last, to wish you a happy Valentine's Day from MCTV your community station.